Heather, thank you. We do have an update on that breaking news of why Chula Vista police are outside of Larry Miete's home. David Gottfriedson joins us now live. David, what can you tell us? I am on my way to the house right now in rush hour traffic, but we're hearing that police officers showed up at the home of Larry Miliete on uh, Pacific Gatos uh, in Chula Vista. Uh, within the hour they showed up and they are in full gear and uh, looking pretty scary to the neighbors, but now the neighbors are telling us. I believe we've lost David's shot. So David Goffertson, our News 8. Uh, that they may producer. have been moving into the. David, uh, your shot's breaking up a little bit, but keep talking. You said the that neighbors are saying that the, the police are dressed in riot gear. Uh, police are in full tactical gear at this point, and there was some concern that they may ha be raiding the house to make an arrest, but now we're hearing that it could just be a search warrant being served on the house. This would be the second search warrant they had served on the house first one was on January 23rd. So uh, they would clear the house, they would uh, serve their search warrant and take evidence. But I'm uh, driving on the freeway to try to get there as quickly as possible. We also have uh, News 8 crews on the way as well, and we'll bring you more information as soon as it becomes available. Now, David, you were also working on a story earlier today about some new audio that was found in the neighborhood where Maya went missing. What can you tell us about that briefly? That audio was recorded the same night that the gunshots or alleged gunshots were recorded in the neighborhood by a surveillance camera. So the gunshots, uh, thought to be gunshots, went off around 10 o'clock that night, January 7th, and then one half hour later, we obtained audio of what appears to be the Millette children playing in their backyard. Uh, you can hear one of the children uh, saying the nickname of her younger sister in the audio. So uh, what that means to the case, we're not sure. We also know that the Cold Case Foundation is on board helping out to try and identify search locations, sadly, to try and find her remains at this point, although there is no confirmation that she's not alive but uh, they are bringing on a, uh, a profiler to try and identify search locations uh, that her remains could have been dumped. This remains a missing persons case, and at this point, there are no publicly named suspects, although you do need probable cause to get into a house with a search warrant. This is the second search warrant, if it is a search warrant, to be served on the house. The first time they took evidence and they took the family's Lexus SUV that the husband was believed to have been driving the day after uh, uh, Maya disappeared. He disappeared in that Lexus for about 12 hours and he was nowhere to be found and he did not bring his cell phone. All right, we've lost uh, our producer, David Godfordson. If you're just joining us, we'll bring you up to speed. Maya Miliete disappeared from her home four months ago today, and we have just received word from Jeez, neighbors. at this point. All right, David, thanks. We'll let you uh, focus on driving, getting safely to the home of Maya and Larry Miliete, and just updating our viewers. She disappeared four months ago today, and uh, we do believe that police perhaps are there executing a search warrant. It would be their second one. But David, we'll let you get to the scene and then we'll have an update from you a little later in this newscast. Thanks so much.